Namaskara, I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal from Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, 15 Eagle Street, Shanti Nagar, Bangalore. And I'm an eye surgeon who's gone in for genetic research. Thereby, we give autologous immune booster therapy, giving fetal DNA and fetal stem cells to back to the patient from his own blood. Age-related macular degeneration, more than 60 years ago, a very beautiful study was carried out by the American National Health in Lhasa, Tibet. At that time, Tibet was not occupied by China. And since Lhasa had a very high altitude, they were able to carry out the tests required for age-related macular degeneration, where they were able to tell us that more than 60% of patients aged 60 and above get age-related macular degeneration when they are on high altitudes like Lhasa or in snow-capped mountains where there is far, far more ultraviolet radiation. That was one of the first studies to tell us that it was ultraviolet radiation that was creating the age-related macular degeneration. In today's world, we are seeing a far, far more rise in this condition called age-related macular degeneration that in 40-year-olds, 20-year-olds, we get this condition. Once again, one of the primary reasons is the ultraviolet radiation. Yes, there are so many other reasons that the DNA has been denaturing far faster than somebody of that normal age. Be that as it may, how do we treat the condition? First, let's know how to prevent the condition. So if we're going to be in high altitudes, if you're going outside, it's much better to wear a sunglass. If you're sitting at home, it's much better to, and using your TV and computers and all these things, much better to wear ultraviolet filters, blue filter lenses, before you move on to using your computer. If these things are not available, of course, once you've got the disease already, you need to go to an eye doctor. Now, there are two types of age-related macular degeneration. What happens is that the blood vessels have started leaking blood. This comes out right into the macula. Why is this coming? Because of the ultraviolet radiation. Now, this can be a wet type where there is a leak of the blood or it is dried out and it becomes a dry type. Whatever be the situation, there are many treatments that have been used over the years like corticosteroids and Avastin and so many other things. However, we find in our practice at Dr. Agarwal Hospitals that we make a very big difference to all our patients of age-related macular degeneration within 10 days of using. In 10 days treatment, we give them every day injections into the eye where we take one drop of blood from their finger, make their own fetal DNA, fetal stem cells, give it back as injections to them. Along with that, we do about two or three settings of diode laser, low threshold, which means we're not even using 50 millijoules of energy. In conservative ophthalmology, it would go to more than 1000 millijoules of energy. So these two things will balance off the age-related macular degeneration, prevent any more blood vessels from leaking and bring the health of the retina back to bring back vision to the eye.